Hi, Sandy McTeer here with DecoArt. Let me show you how cool and easy it is to create this neon funky fun flower using chain and the DecoArt Fluid Art ready to pour acrylics. Let's get started. You want a disposable tray just in case any paint flows over our surface. I'm using an Artist Loft paint pouring canvas. I picked up some chain in the jewelry section at Michael's. I also picked up some CraftSmart multi-purpose vinyl gloves. Put those on to keep our fingers clean. I have four little plastic containers that I'll use to prop the canvas up when I base coat it white. And then our paints. You'll wanna make sure to pick these up at Michael's, the DecoArt Fluid Art Ready to Pour Acrylics. These acrylics are perfect for your paint pouring projects. I'm using these bold, fluorescent, beautiful neon colors in pink, orange, yellow, and white. And cut the chain into five equal pieces. Super easy to cut just with regular scissors. And then we're gonna base coat our surface white. Okay, so the base coat white has dried. You can use a pencil and draw out the basic shape of the flower if you want to, or you can just start pouring straight from the bottle. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna lay this out with a pencil by finding the center of my canvas, and I'll draw five of them. Okay, now I'm gonna start laying out my color. So I'm going to dot some pink right along the petal edge. I'm gonna do this for all the petals with pink first. Now let's use some orange, and I'm gonna do the same thing. And now a little bit of yellow, and I'm not gonna do as many dots. We're gonna have a lot of paint in the center, maybe four for each flower petal. And then we also want a little bit of white, four little dots for each petal. Now the key is with the chain, you want to go all the way around the petal, leaving the chain in the center. I'm gonna go along the outside edge of the petal and slowly just kind of slide that right toward the center. Start to lift and move that over to the side. Look how pretty those colors are. So if you have an area here that got a little heavy, you can bring your chain right back up and just swipe that section to bring that heavier paint right to the center, just like that. Then I'm gonna take a paper towel and I'm just going to soak up some of the center. We will come back and add some of the colors that we have in our petals and make a fun little center for our flower. Okay, so funky fun neon flower is completely dry. And all I'm going to do is pour right into the center. I'll start with the pink, a little bit of orange, some of the yellow neon, and then finally finish it with white. I hope you'll give that chain pulling technique a try to create your own neon funky fun vibrant flower.